Ooh, hello everybody, Z3KO Trinity here. I want to go back to my original idea for the channel and do a collection video for you guys. I'm going to be talking about my Studio Ghibli collection. I know I don't have them all, and they're really in no particular order. I tried to get them in the order of how they came out, but I'm not 100% sure, but whatevs. So... Anyway, let's get right into it. We have the Nausicaa. I probably miss, miss said it, but oh well. So Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which stars uh, Allison. Wow, it doesn't really want to focus at all. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. There it goes. Allison Lohman, Uma Thurman, Patrick Stewart, and Shilabouf, Edward James Olmos. Uh, watched it. It was really good, which I love Studio Ghibli movies anyway. Uh, Castle in the Sky featuring Anna Paquin, uh, James Van Der Beek, uh, Caloris, Caloris uh, Leachman, and Mark Hamill. This was a very, very good movie. Love Castle in the Sky. Very beautiful movie. Now here is one of the saddest movies on the planet. I'm never going to watch this one again because I don't really like sad movies. But Grave of the Fireflies, this one really hits you and it hits you hard. But one of the best movies I've ever seen. Just I don't like sad stuff personally so I don't think I'll be watching it anymore. Uh, my Neighbor Totoro, which is the movie that I, me and my brother grew up watching... I loved it from the very minute I watched it, and even when we were little, we planted uh, seeds, green acorns, to see if we could grow trees. And uh, it didn't work as fast as what the movie says it was, so it's bullshit! But My Neighbor Totoro with Tim Daly, Dakota Fanning, Ely Fanning, and Le Shalonga. Shalonga. Love that movie. All-time classic. I grew up with this one, too, Kiki's Delivery Service. I used to, and it's weird having a crush on a cartoon character, but when I was a kid, I used to have a crush on Kiki. I know. Weird, right? Stars Kristen Dunst, uh, Janine Garofalo. I'm probably totally mispronouncing these names. Phil Hartman, which is no longer with us, I don't think. I think that's the guy I'm thinking of. Debbie Reynolds, which is also not no longer with us, sadly. We have Whisper of the Heart, which is one of my most favorite ones. Uh, very romantic. And it's kind of cool how this one ties in with the Cat Returns, how she wrote the story. So that's kind of really cool. Um, but yeah, I want to be a writer so I can understand her. And I just love this uh, story. There's the list of people. I'm not going to read them all. Uh, Princess Mononoke is an excellent excellent Studio Ghibli movie. If you like action, if you like just drama, just total badassery, this is the movie for you. Princess Mononoke. There's the list of people. Billy Bob Thornton. Spirited Away, which is Miyazaki's most famous movie that he's most known for. It's an excellent movie. It also has that little creature right there, which I absolutely love. Just this movie is by far one of his top best movies. Uh, the Cat Returns, like I said, which is connected with Whisper of the Heart. Uh, this was a very, very good... Oh, it's new on Blu-ray? I didn't know. Uh, which, this is the story that the girl wrote, and it is very, very good. Loved it, too. Howl's Moving Castle is one of my top five favorites of these. Howl's Moving Castle is probably one of the greatest Studio Ghibli movies ever made. But uh, I'll tell you what my absolute favorite is here in a minute. Tales from Earthsea was very good. I loved the uh, story very much in this. I thought the characters were so unique. And just everything about this story was so cool. Plus I like dragons. Studio Ghibli, Ponyo. This one's a really cute cartoon which I really loved. It's inspired by The Little Mermaid. And it was just a very good movie. And I think it had Betty White. Yep, Betty White. Betty with Teasels. 
This one I went to theaters to see with my ex. This was such a great movie. Secret World of Arietti is by far one of the greatest uh, stories that he did. I know it's based on the book The Borrowers, but still, just he did such a fantastic job with this. Just, I love it so much. Now, here's another really good romantic one called From Up on Poppy Hill. And at first, I was like, really? And I didn't care. Oh, sorry. <sighs> didn't quite care for the story. But once it got towards that ending, man, it's so good. Really good. This one, I took a complete 180, and I just don't care for the story in this one. Uh, it is a good movie, however, it's just, it didn't really capture me like most of his movies did. But if you like the movie, you know, that's on you. This one I have yet to watch, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, which I think was a completely different uh, person. Same Studio Ghibli, but complete different person than this one, but I haven't watched uh, this one yet. Then we're going to get to the last two, which this one is my number one favorite. When Marnie Was There is the best Studio Ghibli movie I've ever seen. It really, really grabs you in your heart. Like, I cried so freaking hard with this anime. It is not even funny. Epic story, really, really touching story. 10 out of 10 stars, a million out of 10 stars. And love Kathy Bates to death. She's one of my favorite actresses of all times. But man, this one is a masterpiece. Loved it. And the final Studio Ghibli one, which uh, I got, was Only Yesterday, featuring Daisy Ridley. Now, I don't quite care for this one too much myself. Um, I kind of got lost at a couple places. But, uh, I don't know, just once the ending hit, I was like, meh. I just didn't quite feel, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should give it another chance, but I didn't quite feel. And I know what you're saying, these aren't plus, uh, these aren't Studio Ghibli's. That's why I put the plus in the video. I just feel like these are so good that they could be categorized with them. And, uh, I'm not too knowledgeable about, uh, the company that makes this one, I don't think. But if you guys, uh, know and want to correct me in the comment sections, that's, that's on you guys. But I got The Boy and the Beast, which I thought was a really cool, uh, trailer. I didn't see the movie yet, but I love the trailer, love the art style of it, so I picked it up. Uh, Wolf Children, I heard so many good things about Wolf Children, so I definitely picked this one up. Still yet to have watched it, though. And same with this one, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. I heard it was pretty good, too, but I just bought it, and I did not get to watch it yet. But the one I did watch, which is the final video in our lineup, yes, I got my headset ready to join a party, um... It is Your Name, which is fantastic. Probably my number one favorite animated movie on the planet. I've watched this movie a total of 12 times already. Love this movie so much. If you have not watched Your Name, please, for the love of God, if you, if you love a good freaking love story, you've got to watch this one. Just, man, it's such a good love story. But that's all the Studio Ghiblis that I have at the moment. My little Ghiblis. Um, and I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for some more collection videos. Oh, sorry for the odd. But uh, I'm going to try to do some more collection videos and try to get back to my roots uh, for my channel. Um, I just don't feel like people are kind of liking my channel as much as what they used to so i don't know I, maybe i'm just overthinking things but um like people don't hardly comment as much as what they used to and i just don't want to be boring but at the same time i don't you know i just don't want to put out bad content but thank you guys for joining i hope you enjoyed the video i want to try and eventually get them all 
but that's a you know ways away. So thank you guys so much. I'm Z3KO Trinity. Skadooskies. <laughs>